Welcome back. Today we're going to see how we can get our faded and discolored headlight lenses from looking like this to looking like this. Most manufacturers now use plastic for their headlight lenses since it's cheaper, lighter and easier to create in different shapes and styles. But while they look great new, after a while they can become discolored and faded, look unsightly and rob you of your light's full potential. So if you've got that problem, stick around and let's find out how we can get your headlight as close to its original clarity as possible with the minimum amount of work and cost. So here's what you'll need. A simple clean bucket that can hold water. And of course, we're going to need water. A spray bottle works fine, but if you have your garden hose handy, that's perfect. You will also need a sheet of sandpaper, since we will be wet sanding the headlight lens to remove the discolored top layer. It will need to be a wet dry sandpaper, since we will be wet sanding with the water, and nothing lower than 2000 grit. Too coarse, and you can leave deep scratches in the lens that are almost impossible to remove. We went with a 2500 grit, since our lenses weren't too bad, and this is what we normally recommend. A soft sponge or sanding block, although not an absolute necessity, is helpful to soften and even out the pressure you're applying to the lens when sanding. Something flexible that can contour to the shapes of the headlight is ideal, but even if you don't have one of these, a stiff wash sponge that isn't too abrasive can also do the trick. A few drops of dishwashing liquid to the water helps remove the buildup as we sand and makes the job a little easier. Just borrow it when your wife isn't looking, like I did. Some masking tape to protect the paint around the headlight as we sand and polish. For the polish, we recommend Chemical Guy's Headlight Restorer because it does an excellent job in restoring the headlight and also acts as a sealant with UV protectors that keep your lenses looking new for much longer. You will also need an applicator pad. A simple foam pad like this one works great, but if not, a microfiber cloth can also be used. A polisher isn't a must, but it will save you some time and energy and give you an overall better finish. An adjustable speed polisher is best, but even a drill attachment will work wonders. The first thing we want to start with is to clean around the headlight and the lens itself to prepare it for the masking tape and to remove any surface contaminants on the lens so we don't rub them into it while we sand. Carefully tape any exposed paint or finishes around the light. Spending extra time here will prevent you from inadvertently damaging the paint's finish, so take your time and do this step properly. Fill your bucket with your mix of water and soap. Just a few drops are all that's needed. You can also cut your paper to the size of your sanding block or sponge and wrap it around neatly. Mix your soap up well and get the paper and lens nice and wet before starting. You also want to clean your sandpaper and lens regularly as you sand, trying to get a nice even coverage of the area. Don't press it down too hard, let the sandpaper do the work. Take your time and clean it regularly as you don't want to scratch your lens. Our lens wasn't too bad, but even if yours are very yellow and cloudy, this process still works fine. It may just take more time, so be patient with it. Once the runoff from the sanding goes from a yellow to a clean milky white, you can stop and clean and dry the lens. After it dries, it will still look cloudy. This is fine and expected. Once it has a fairly even look, you can move on to the next step, that is the polishing phase, and this is where the magic really happens. As mentioned, we chose Chemical Guy's Headlight Restore because it does a fantastic job of polishing and has that sealant built in. Put a few drops evenly spread on your pad and get to work, taking care to cover all areas. This is where your hard work is going to pay off and you can instantly start to see the transformation before your eyes. We've covered a section of the lens so you can compare even by hand how much of a difference there is from before. Now if you want to go a step further and get an even clearer look, you're going to need a machine. If not a polisher like we're using, you can use a hand drill with the right polish pad attachment. Now you want to be more careful with these as they will spin quite fast and you don't want to lose control and have it damage your paint job or lens. When we're done, we use Chemical Guy's Speed Wipe, which we also sell in store to do a final clean on the lens and remove any excess polish. Be careful not to use any cleaners though that will strip away the protective coating from the headlight restorer we just used. And that's it, you're halfway there already. In 10 minutes or less, we were able to prep and restore one light 
and it looks amazing and really transforms the front of the vehicle, making it look years younger and giving us back our much needed light. Don't forget to do the other side, of course. And that's a wrap. We're all done. Now you may need to spend a few seconds to do a quick, simple repolish to clean and add back that protective sealant every two or three months with the headlight restorer. But if you stay on top of it, your headlights will continue looking new for a long time to come. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, let us know in the comments below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember guys and girls, drive safe.